is a traditional barong. This is what I, I got yesterday at the mall. It's uh, not like made out of bamboo or something like that. So it's like a really breathable material, perfect for this humid weather. And there's my wife. Yeah, we match. Yeah, we look so good. Hi. All right. Family selfie. This is pretty crazy, like, I was kind of skeptical when we got the whole van, but turns out, or the whole bus, turns out we actually do fill up the entire bus, except for like the last two or three seats. So pretty packed. Even in the Philippines, we can't escape toll roads and have to pay to use the roads. Though the roads in Philadelphia are a degree better than the ones in the Philippines. Looks like we might be having a little bit of bus troubles. Hopefully we don't have to get out and walk or push. <laughs> Oh. Good thing we got Jordan. Jordan's gonna push it. Look at those muscles. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Thankfully, it started up again. <laughs> So when Mama and Big Daddy were here in the Philippines and they were very poor, apparently Dad had a scooter and a scooter. Like a Dad, like a Vespa. Whatever, yeah, let's go. A moped. A moped. A moped. A moped. A moped. Big Dad would sit here in the front and then Ang would sit behind him with Mom in between and I'm pregnant and then Red would stand in the front and they would go around this crazy street. With all of us. So all five, so, all five of you on one motorcycle? Yeah, yeah. look at the driving truck, look at that. I call it social services because they put my life in jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 We're attempting to make a U turn on one of these roads. <laughs> Yeah, this is a two-way street. <laughs> Those are not parked. Those are actually coming this way. Look how close we are. <laughs> we finally made it to church. It's wet. This is a pretty cool church. The land used to be owned by our family and uh, was eventually converted into a church. Signed your name. I read every word, read it page by page. If you said that you'd be coming, coming for me soon. Oh my God, I'll be ready for you. I wanna run on green and I wanna drink some sweet. My 
soul is getting restless for the place where I belong. I can't wait to join the angels and see my heaven song. We're taking a giant selfie with everyone here at the church. So. Yes. All right, everyone, you guys ready? So everyone, smile. One, two, and. One, two, three. Just finished church. Turns out that's my own team. Somehow, that's my own so, this is the church that my great-grandfather helped actually start. And he was a he was an evangelist here in the Philippines because in the Philippines they don't have like a pastor for church. That's my ugly brother. Uh, they don't have my ugly sister. Oh. So here in the Philippines they have what are called district pastors, where there's one pastor for like ten different churches. <laughs> We just finished church and now we're going back to the bus and then time to eat. So we are stopping at an elementary school. It's actually right around the corner from our church. Um, and this is actually this is actually the church, or the, this is actually the school that my grandfather went to when he was a kid. So these people in the back are actually uh, Alan's husband family members. and cream, but it tastes delicious. They are taking us on a little bit of a tour of the elementary school, showing us what it's all about. So this is where all the problem children go to repent of their sin. There's a picture of Jesus so that they can pray. <laughs> Just kidding. If I were in sixth grade, this is where I would be. So this is the third floor right here. This is kind of like the most needy project of the school. An area for the students to be playing. So. So in the last week, a church member was telling me that there has been two typhoons here in Manoa. That's why it's so wet. So we are going to this, oh actually, not going to, this is the cemetery. You notice right here, these are all grave sites that are above the ground. And uh, we are here because my great, great grandmother is buried here. And also, 
um, my uncle actually. So when my grandparents had him, I think like there were complications with the birth, and either it was like a stillbirth or he passed away like at a very young age. And so I'm gonna uh, go visit the gravesite of my uncle and great great grandmother. Uh, it used to be lower, so they just raise it up. It used to be lower, and it was to be, yeah. it used to be only one single. Yeah, and I know. That's right. So this street that we're driving is actually where my mom used to live. Uh, it was right next door to that cemetery that we were just at. Um, so we're trying to find a house. Probably everything has changed since they've been here. Like this used to be primarily like rice field and stuff like that. And clearly it's not like that anymore. Okay, so the last time I came here to the Philippines, I remember it was... Um, how, how old were you? I was Hannah's age, sixth grade, spring vacation. It was Easter vacation. And I remember this street because it was like the biggest street here. And I remember looking to the right and there was this procession of people. And it started with these these men with bare backs and like, like little cloth around them. These bamboo whip sticks kind of like, and they would go like this and they would whip their backs. And they would actually be like all bloody and everything. Yeah. And then they have someone behind them that would pour water to, to let the blood. This is kind of like where they went. I remember this. <laughs> you remember this street? I remember this right. This little round thing right here. Wow. And then behind those men, there was one guy that like that was like was an honor to, to carry the cross, kind of like Jesus. And at the end of wherever the procession ended, they actually nailed him. Yeah, they the would actually cross, crucify really him. They would actually crucify him. It would be like huge honor. And how long would they stay up on the cross? I have no idea because I was like all scared. But then they they take him they take him back down, right? It's so yes. evil. That's craziness. That's crazy. Yeah, you can Google it. They'll no, show you I, I, at Easter time. Yeah, I've seen and, it on uh, National and Geographic and or something like that. The, the guy's face, guy's face, when he grimaces. Look at the river. It's flooded. Wow, the river. The river Jordan. <laughs> So after the longest drive back from the church and everything else like that, the traffic here was insane. Like it was really, 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 really bad. Emily had to pee like the entire time and almost died. Uh, but we are gonna go grab a quick bite to eat. And then after that, we're gonna do what basically the rest of the world is doing at this time. And we're gonna go watch Star Wars. my favorite of all the Star Wars uh, so far. Oh, really? I think so, it's pretty good. Walk back to the hotel for the night. I have one last stop to make. Just finished the massage. Pretty awesome deal. It's like $17 for an hour and a half massage. And the cool thing about it is it's right across the street from the hotel. So probably gonna be coming back here. But that's a wrap for our day two. Tomorrow's gonna be fun. It's like our last full day in Manila, so I intend to have a good time. And then after that, we'll be going over to Palawan. So, see you guys tomorrow.